In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is among us. He is risen. Throughout the history of Christianity, most of the time, Christians either ascend the Theotokos too much into heaven, and they honor her sometimes to a fall, and other times, other Christians disagree with these ones because they honored her too much and they decided that she was just a regular human being and she's, she doesn't deserve any honor. By the grace of God, in the Orthodox Church, we kept the truth of the early church. We believe, as Father Alexander Shema would say, that the Theotokos is not a great exception, but a great example. And the disciple of Father Alexander Shema, Father Tahoko, would say that everything that she is, we are called to become. But Christians, you know, were tempted to separate her from us and to ask her to do for us what we are going to do for ourselves. It is a lot easier to worship the Theotokos instead of becoming like her. It is a lot easier to place all the weight on her, do for us what we need, what we want. It is a lot easier to do that, to place all the weight on her instead of trying to become like her. Because that is transformative Christianity. People like to go to the doctor for a pill. Give me a pill. Don't give me a treatment. No diet, no treatment, just a pill to fix my problem. And we have the same attitude in our relationship with God, in our relationship with the Theotokos, in, in our relationship with the church for whom the Theotokos stands. We want a pill. We want God, we want Christ, we want the Theotokos to do what we are called to do. God has given us a treatment. And the treatment is purification, illumination, until we become like God and require deification. That's what the Theotokos acquired. The Theotokos, by the grace of God, by offering herself to God, by working really hard, she didn't have an easy life. She took the hard way, the hard path, the narrow path, to become like God. And this is why God came and dwelt within her. And God wants to come and to dwell within us until we become like her, full of the grace of God, still talking, God bearers, bearers of the word of God. It is not an easy path. It is not a pill, it is a treatment, it is a lifelong treatment. This is the Theotokos that the Orthodox Church gives to us. Unfortunately, not too many people like this kind of Theotokos. As I said, many Christians want her to solve their problems, other Christians don't want, don't want to have anything to do with her. You know why? Because it is hard to look her in the eye and to know and to see Christ, God, enthroned within her and to know that Christ wants to come and to be thrown, enthroned within me. It's not easy to look at my icon, at my image. It burns, it bugs. But that's what God has given us. I shall dwell among you and walk among you. I shall be your God and you shall be my people. This is, God, this is what God wanted from the beginning. This is 
what he what he spoke to us to the prophets, and this is what this is what he speaks to us to the Theotokos. I want to dwell within you. Nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing else than to dwell within you. Let us keep this in mind. That this is the Theotokos that God gives to us. This is the Theotokos that the Orthodox Church gives to us. This is the Theotokos that God wants us to become. During this Dormition Lent, by the grace of God, we are going to meditate on the revelation of God about the Theotokos. We are going to meditate on the examples that God has given us in the Old Testament to prefigure, to reveal the Theotokos when she will come in person. We will see from Eve how God revealed to us the Theotokos and her coming into the world and how we are to become like her. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.